this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's PCT product demo, we are talking about the new products for Sculpey and Primo for 2014. Now, Polyform sent me this big box of all their newest products for this year, and there is a lot of great stuff in there, and I'm going to show it all to you. Um, they've brought out a lot of um, new tools, some supplies, and even a whole new line of clay. Now, I think they've done a really good job of listening to what we need as a community and brought us some products that we're really going to use this time. Now, there is tons in here, so I'm going to show them all to you, but I won't be able to show them to you in very much detail. So make sure to leave in the comment section after the video to um, let me know which ones you want me to do videos on first. The ones with the most popular votes on them will get shown first and the others will take longer to see them, okay? All right, so let's take a look of what we got here. Now, as you can see, there's lots of new stuff. First of all, the first one I'll show you, it is a bead maker. Now, this is a little different than the other bead makers that are out there. Um, this one will roll three different sizes of round beads and uh, it has a little clay measures in there, so it should be easier to use. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. There is also a new bead making kit. This one comes in a reusable package. It's got a little roller, a clay blade, it's got a piece of acrylic, so if you want to roll lentil beads, you can use it for that or for flattening out um, square canes and things like that. It's got a bead all, a cutter, and it's got a little piece of um, fiber for baking on, like a little baking mat, so, and a booklet in there for bead making, which sounds interesting. Another new product they brought out is a clay bead baking rack. Now this one is sort of interesting. It's got, it's different than what's out there. It's very small as you can see. It's a triangular kind of shaped rack with some notches in it and these long pins. Apparently the pins fit in the rack. I'm curious on how this one is going to uh, work in comparison to what has been out there. What else have we got? Oh, this one excites me. It is a hollow bead maker. Now, let me show you what it looks like. It is a, just a piece of metal with these domes on it. We've used, in the past, we've used uh, things like uh, paint palettes for making uh, hollow lentil beads and things like that. What's neat about this particular design is that it has several sizes on it and it's got a matte finish on it. Um, so that means that when you bake on it, it won't be shiny. So we can use either the, um, the dome side or the convex side. And uh, I think there's gonna be some very interesting uses for this that uh, maybe these guys hadn't thought of. I've got some ideas myself of what I could use that for. Um, oh, another thing they came out with is a tool organizer. Now we all start getting a lot of tools and we need somewhere to put them. This looks like a neat little um, setup. It um, will hold uh, your clay rollers, um, your all kinds of little uh, needle tools and sculpting tools. It even has a slot for putting in texture plates and your acrylic rod and a whole bunch of stuff. So I think this one's going to be a useful one. Oh, they also came out with um, a little selection of wet dry sandpaper. It comes in 400, 600, 800, and 1,000 grit. Exactly what we need. The only thing is, is I'm a little disappointed in the size and the number of pieces in there. I think we're gonna go through this very quickly and uh, I'm not sure if that's enough sandpaper, to be honest. Um, another thing that is a great product by the looks of it, I haven't tried it yet, is the clay silk screen kit. Now it has a bunch of different uh, silk screens in here and the patterns are really, really pretty and they can be used um, for, and they're perfectly suited for uh, jewelry size. It also comes with some um, acrylic paints in gold and silver and a little squeegee. So you have everything you need to get started with make, doing silk screening. And that's a good one because we've been buying them from everybody else. So they might as well have some too. This is a new set that looks very interesting. Um, 
They are silicone molds and they're the type of silicone that can be baked in, which has uh, some cool purposes. And um, this one is a cabochon mold. It, so it um, molds different shaped cabochons, uh, teardrop shapes, some donut shapes, uh, triangle kind of shape. And then this one here is a bake um, also a bakeable mold, but this one is the bezel shapes. So they have some corresponding shapes for bezels that you can put behind the cabochons, which sounds very cool. So I think you'll see me do some cool stuff with that. Another thing they came out with, which I don't understand why they didn't do this a long time ago, because we've been buying these from everybody else, is they are some graduated cutters. Um, now they're perfectly sized for jewelry making yet again. In fact, this round set will uh, correspond with the um, hollow bead maker. So when you're cutting out the discs to put on the, to make your lentil hollow beads, these cutters will work beautifully for that. They have a round set, a diamond set, oval and teardrop, and each set has six pieces in them. So that's a nice set and they all sit together nicely in your drawer. And lastly, they brought out a whole new line of clay called souffle. Now this, I'm very excited about getting to try this. This is an interesting clay. Um, it is very similar from what I hear. I'm going to be doing some uh, PCT test labs on it, but it's supposed to be very similar to the um, Studio by Sculpey clay. Now I have some Studio by Sculpey clay so I can test them directly um, against each other, but it's a kind of got a suede finish to it and apparently it's very strong. So, and then very lightweight. It comes in, I believe 22 colors. Uh, I'd have to look that up to know exactly, but they're very interesting colors. They're kind of designer colors that are quite pretty from the pack. Um, we'll have to see how well they do color mixing wise because sometimes these designer colors don't mix together very predictably But they're very pretty and we'll see what we can do with that. I'm guessing it, you could do a lot of faux leathers and great um, Oh some organic looking projects and stuff with them. They also look like they've got a some sets um, So you can buy little sampler sets of them as well so I don't know the pricing of these pieces too much. I'd have to look that all up depending on which country you're from and all that, but the products look interesting and exciting and like I'm gonna be doing a lot of neat stuff with them. So let me know which ones you want me to do a little bit more detailed videos on first in the comment section below. I hope you liked that and if you did, let us know and we will see you next time. Bye for now.